My name is Garrett Henson Hink, that's spelled H-E-N-S-O-N dash H-I-N-C-K. So for me, interior design is really about following um, the art and the science of understanding a person's behavior within a space um, to really create their story. Um, as an interior design student, I'm most inspired by the things that are around me, um, as most people might say, but it, the travel, um, the experiences of dining or um, artistic installations that I'm you know, exposed to. We don't often notice this enough, but dining experiences all the way down to the textures of the linens to the light that's hanging over the table, um, the paint color that's on the wall, uh, walking into the space of the space planning, these all play into factors of our design. So when I get the opportunity to meet with a client, uh, the most important part to me is really getting to know the client. It's fun in that aspect because I'm learning who they are, what they are about, what their daily routine looks like, what they need from this design. And through that, I'm able to really tell a story about who this person is. The unique perspective that I have is my background in theater. It's really taught me how to tell stories. I've had a little opportunity to scenic design alongside my interior design, but the advantage of interior design, while both disciplines are methods of storytelling, theater allows me to comment on a narrative as interior design allows me to create that narrative. For me, successful design is an environment that creates a story for a client. It allows the client to walk into a space from the front door into a living room or a lobby, and from then on, they're able to tell a story about who they are, uh, to tell their story in the space. The challenge of interior design is always the merger of functionality and the aesthetic sense of the space. Um, and merging those together is a lot of hard work, but in the end, the reaction of the client of that design is what keeps us going um, as interior designers.